All right, so this video is going to go over and demonstrate how to download Python and use the IDLE um, compiler. Um, so, and I, I kind of want to show you. So I made all these videos a long time ago. So if I just click in here and play this video just real quick, I'll show you. Um, I, I actually started off Python using, um, uh, what was it called? Anaconda. Okay, so in this video, um, there's nothing necessarily, uh, what's, what's, there's nothing necessarily per se wrong with Anaconda, but I don't like using it anymore. So most of my videos that I made early on, I demonstrated in Anaconda and so you can watch those it's not going to affect your programming and if you do your programs in IDLE you can use everything that I wrote in in uh, Anaconda in your um, IDLE compiler but that's why I kind of want to show you how to do all this so um, basically all you do just go to Python just Google Python And I apologize, my computer's real slow. I got a bunch of different windows and uh, websites open for all the work I'm doing. Hopefully, I'm going to pause it so that I don't waste your time here. Uh, works faster now, and it doesn't just sit here with the, you know, the spinning wheel of death. But anyway, Google Python and just say, welcome to python.org. And once you're here, um, you can highlight over downloads. And I'm on Windows, so it's just right here for me. But you know, if you're on a Mac, you should be able to click on Mac and um, you know figure out how to download for Mac. Um, I don't have access to a Mac or testing for a Mac, so if you if if there's problems later on with Pi Game or Pi Gal when we download those with Macs, I I can't help you with that. So and I you know so. I've had students actually do alternative assignments. But anyway, here's the Python 3.9.6. And so you just click on this. It downloads like any other piece of software. Um, once it's downloaded, you can click on your um, window at the bottom. I don't know if this is going to play in the video recorder because uh, the, the window at the bottom, at the bottom left, is uh, not on the screen but anyway when I click on it this should open up and then I can type in my search uh, bar IDLE and there's the IDLE compiler that pops up so I open that up now students at times uh, they'll turn in their work and it looks something like this in here so I call this page the shell because it says shell up here at the top, okay? Um, but I'll see students do something like this. So, um, I don't know, uh, make equals uh, Toyota model equals forerunner. And then if I want to do like print, make and well and it kind of does it here print model okay like it it, it kind of works but it, it it's not going to do a, the job of like a normal program because this is the shell um what you should be doing is going file new so new file and then you could do you know you could do make equals toyota model equals forerunner uh, and then you can do print make and then print model okay so then I do I'm well first of all you got to give it a name so I'll just save this as and I'll call it uh, you know you can call it whatever I'm just gonna call it test 11 watch my videos I, I'll, I'll have naming conventions and stuff in there so it's called test 11 and then all you do is run and then you say run module and then it opens up in the shell and prints Toyota and then forerunner if you turn this into me with the easier programs 
I'll run through it and go, okay, they knew what they were doing. They just did it in shell. Ultimately, that's not right. It should be done in here, and then the output displays in the shell or where you interact with the program where you, like, if it asks you, hey, what's your name? In here, you would type your name in or what's your age, and you would type your age in the shell. Um, but you should be writing your program in here, okay? So um, this, so again, what I, what I showed you in my videos, um, you know, it's the same thing. It's just a different compiler. But this is what I prefer you guys to use in the class. If you want to mess with Anaconda and the Jupyter Notebooks uh, or J Jupyter Workbook, you can. Um, you know, it's not going to hurt you. Later on in the semester, I cannot get Pygame or Pygal to work with Anaconda. So at some point in this semester, you must switch over to the IDLE that I'm using here because I've got videos. Um, let me show you real quick. I'm going to have videos in here. Mm, it's probably not going to show up, but I have videos in here on how to uh, download uh, Pygame and Pygal, and they only work in the IDLE. I cannot get them to work in this uh, Anaconda. So um, at some point, you must switch over. But um, just don't be intimidated by the videos I have. You can do all the programming in here, the exact same programming that I do in my video. You just do it right there. So anyway, this video is done.